How to sell life coaching. Have you decided to become a life coach, but now you're wondering how to actually sell your coaching services? Do you love the idea of coaching others to success, but you're not sure how to get clients to pay you? If you want to actually make money as a life coach, you're in luck because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to sell life coaching. Hey, hey, Courtney Sanders here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to me, I'm a full-time online life and business coach, full-time entrepreneur, also a wife and mom. I wear all the hats and do all the things. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about selling life coaching because this is a real tricky one. And I feel like I have to talk about this all the time on my channel because life coaching is a little different than other coaching niches. So in terms of my background, I am both a life and business coach, but I got my start in life coaching. In fact, I started my coaching business from fresh out of college, didn't have a certification, didn't have you know anything other than my bachelor's degree, but I had experience in mastering my own self-discipline after going through some things in school. So I lost my engineering scholarship and got into a bunch of you know financial mess and had to learn and master self-discipline in order to get myself out of that. And so I had a lot of people, other young women like me, asking me how did I change my life? How did I turn everything around? And so I began to make a name for myself in the arena of self-discipline coaching, particularly for millennial women, but I ended up helping out everyone. And so from there, I grew that business. I ended up having a program that was a best-selling program called the 21 Day No Excuses Woman Self-Discipline Challenge. We had thousands of women go through that program. And because that was so successful, I started having more people now asking me, hey, how did you like sell a program on self-discipline? How did you create this brand for yourself? And so that's how I started to pivot into business coaching. So I really can speak to both arenas, but I wanted to take time in this video to talk specifically about life coaching because so many aspiring life coaches, one, get the industry wrong, right? They don't really understand what life coaching is, how it works, how to market yourself and how to sell it. So if that's where you're at, maybe you just got completed your uh, life coaching certification or maybe you've decided not to do a certification and I actually have a video about that here where I talk about why you don't necessarily need a certification if you don't want one in order to get started. But either way, you're like, life coach now and you're like, okay, great, Courtney, but um, how do I sell this thing? How do I make some money? And so that's what we're going to get into right now. Okay. The first thing that you have to keep in mind when it comes to selling life coaching is that life coaching is actually a misnomer. Most newbies make the mistake of marketing and advertise themselves literally as a life coach. Like I can help you coach on your whole life. And I always use this example, that's similar to walking into a drugstore, maybe Walgreens or CVS and seeing rows and rows of shelves that all say medicine. Here's medicine, here's medicine. I can eliminate your pain. Would you take that medicine? No, because what if you have a headache, but this medicine is for back pain or this medicine is for heart troubles or this medicine is for allergies. Like I need to know specifically what does this medicine help me do? And so it's the same thing with life coaching. Even though you are a life coach, you still need a specific arena within that. So as I mentioned earlier, when I got my start in life coaching, it was around the arena of self-discipline coaching. So the biggest mistake is being extremely broad and literally saying I'm a life coach and walking around talking about, I can help you with your whole life. You need to be specific. All right. The second thing you need to keep in mind, which goes along with the first point is that you really need to nail your niche and your niche is a combination of a lot of factors. It's around what you do, what specific industry you're in, but also who you help. The biggest way that you are going to be able to sell life coaching is to sell it to people who need whatever problem it is that you actually solve. So go back to the first point, rewind the first point to figure out what pain you're actually solving for people. But once you figure that out, then you need to decide who are the people who are most likely to want to purchase this. Oftentimes as life coaches, we have this, you know, altruistic heart. We have a big heart. We're like, I want to help everybody, but not everyone. One is going to be interested in even curing that pain or getting that solved. And two, even people who are interested in curing that pain, aren't going to be interested necessarily in pursuing the route of finding a coach. So you really need to nail the niche and narrow it down to say, who are the people who have this problem, who are also willing to pay to solve this problem, who have demonstrated that they're willing to pay 
to solve this problem in other arenas, who have the capacity to solve this problem, and who I really, really can help and really can get the best results for. That's a whole nother thing that I talk about as well. I believe I talk about that in one of my videos about how to raise your prices, but you really need to find specific people that you can get the max results for. So don't go broad, don't go broad in your you know life coaching title, you wanna be specific. So for me, it was self-discipline, but also you don't wanna go broad in terms of the type of people that you're actually helping. You want to narrow it down and figure out who is interested in this, who is willing to pay for this, who can pay for this, and who can I get the greatest results for? So narrow that niche. And if you need help narrowing that niche, I actually have a free challenge. It's free as of me doing this video. I don't know how long it's going to be free, but I do these every once in a while. It's a free five-day challenge where I help you nail your niche. We limit capacity, not just because I'm giving away true paid information and we allow you to register for free, but we also have an option where you can upgrade to VIP and get direct one-on-one -on -one and group coaching from me on Zoom. And again, all of this happens live. So if you wanna see if there's any spots available, you can go ahead and click the link below in order to join the Nail Your Niche Challenge. All right, the third thing you need to do in order to sell life coaching is you need to walk your talk. And so what I mean by this is it's not enough to have an intellectual head knowledge about the things you can help people with, but you need to actually be it, right? So it's kind of like trying to be a marriage coach, but you're not married. And I know that might ruffle some feathers because there's probably some marriage coaches out there who aren't married, but there are unique things that happen when you are actually walking in the thing that you teach people on. And so it's a lot easier to sell it if you're actually doing it, right? If I am coaching people on health and fitness, but I myself am not healthy and fit, I mean, maybe you can get some people to pay you, but it's gonna be kind of like pulling teeth. They're gonna be like, okay, I wanna see your results. You know, show me other people that you've worked with because you clearly, you know, aren't prioritizing health and fitness anymore. So who are the other people that you've worked with? But when you are your own brand ambassador and you know, you have the successful marriage, right? And so you're, you're coaching on marriages or you're super healthy and fit. And so you're coaching on health and fitness it's a lot easier to do it. So you wanna be clear when you're thinking about all of the problems that you can help people solve. So we go back to that first point about being specific. You also want to ask yourself, what is reflected in my life? Like if someone just looked at my life, you know, what would they see that I am successful in? And so what am I walking in that I could then talk about? Where can I be my own brand ambassador? So as I mentioned in the beginning and how I transitioned from life coaching to business coaching, I did not make that transition to business coaching until I was making money selling life coaching, right? Imagine if I had read some stuff in a book about how to launch an online business and then put myself out there and said, oh, I'm gonna be a business coach, I'm gonna help people now. It would have fallen flat because at that time, I did not have a business that was actively making money. But people saw me focusing on life coaching, they saw me focusing on the self-discipline, and they saw how successful it was. Again, I had thousands and thousands of women go through this one self-discipline program. That's when they started to ask me, hey, how, it, how is it that you're doing it? And so in a real sense, I didn't even have to sell that coaching, people were asking me. And so again, we go back to life coaching, this is another reason why it's so important not to say that you coach everybody on your whole life, because that's so broad and people can't necessarily see on the outside. Like, I mean, maybe you do have a great life, but lots of people have a great life that doesn't necessarily qualify them to be life coaches. But if you narrow it down and get something very specific, people can then look at your life and see that you are doing that, right? Maybe you want to be a real estate, you know, investing coach and people see you buying all this real estate, even though you're still working a nine to five job, that's something that you can coach on. So when you're thinking about life coaching, start to think about the specific results that you are walking in your life and then choose to talk about that. And you'll find that you won't even necessarily have to sell your life coaching. People will start to ask you for it. All right, I have a lot more where that came from, but first I wanna hear from you. Are you an aspiring life coach? Share what type of life coach you want to be in the comments below. All right, the fourth thing you need to do is build your brand if you want to sell life coaching. Yes, especially if you want to do it online. Again, we're in 2022 as I'm recording this. So this idea that you can just walk around, hey, I'm a life coach and people are just supposed to throw money at you, like it doesn't work that way. You really need to build a brand because something as intangible as coaching in general, but specifically life coaching, having a visual brand and then also more than just your visual brand, your content, the way you show up online, 
provide some level of like tangibility to what it is that you're doing. And so building your brand doesn't have to be difficult, but you do need to do it. And I find that a lot of people, you know, they, they want to pretend that it doesn't matter, but it does. You do want your graphics to look great. You want your visuals to look great. As you can see from my brand, I spent a lot of time making sure that my content is not only great in terms of the quality, but it is great in terms of the way that it looks because ultimately that attracts people. And so hopefully you're noticing a theme here that the best way or the easiest way to sell life coaching is literally not to have to sell it, but to attract people to you and to pull people to you. And so you'll find that you will pull people to you if you have a really attractive brand. I mean, think about the last thing that you bought, whether it was a physical product or someone that you hired. Typically it gives you more confidence if you're like, okay, this person looks professional, you know, they're branded well, they've got some graphics going on. It looks like they've put some effort in. It looks like this is a real business, right? Because again, people don't know you. I always say, um, um, we think we're great and that everyone should give us money, but you're a stranger on the internet to your potential clients. And so having a really great, consistent brand is a way to let them know that you're not some fly by night person, that you take your business seriously and that you're actually going to fulfill on the things that you are promising people. So make sure that you are building your brand. All right, the fifth thing you need to do if you want to sell life coaching is create content consistently, both free and paid. So free content, it goes without saying. I mean, you're here watching this video. This is an example of free content. Again, that whole, you don't have to sell if you're attracting people to you. This is a way that you can get people to be interested in what you have to offer, how you can attract people who are already interested in life coaching, right? So you should be creating topics on your specific niche within life coaching. So for me, I created a lot of content on self-discipline. I had videos on self-discipline. They're still here on this YouTube channel if you wanna check way back in the day, probably around 2012, um, if you wanna see some of those videos. At the time I was blogging, so I was writing articles on my website all about self-discipline. I was having chats with people on Twitter. Back in the day I was very active on Twitter and so I would get in these conversations with people all around self-discipline. I was actively creating a lot of content. I was doing that for free. I was creating a lot of free content, but also I was creating paid content. And so paid content could be something as substantial like an actual coaching program or a group coaching program, or it could be a course, or it could simply be an ebook. My first product right out the gate as a coach was a workbook that I created called the Get What You Want Guide, which was all about goal setting. And it was kind of the precursor to this lane that I ended up in, in terms of self-discipline. But that book, I think it sold for like five or 10 bucks. It was a digital download. So that's a great way to get started, but you wanna make sure that you have some content out there. It's literally not enough, again, for you to say, I'm a life coach, for you to print up some business cards and then you know sit around and say, okay, we're all the clients. We're all the clients. You're not gonna sell any life coaching that way. You really need to make sure that you are creating content, both free and paid consistently. All right, thanks so much. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, again, you're going to love my Nail Your Niche Challenge. As of this recording, it's currently free. So if you're watching this, go ahead and click the link below in order to register. Again, we do limit those spots because if you upgrade to VIP, I do give my one-on-one -on -one time to a select number of people who are interested in making sure that they get their niche together. So we limit the amount of registration. So you need to go ahead and register to make sure that there are still spots available by clicking the link below. All right, if you love this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you can't wait until my next video comes out and I'm publishing quite frequently now, so there's another one coming around the corner, but if you can't wait, make sure that you're following me on Instagram to see the behind the scenes of my life and to get great content just like this. And if you want even more, you can subscribe to my podcast on both iTunes and Spotify. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.